Okay, so what is this? What does that even say? Are you really? Yes, I'm recording it at least. It seems like a lot of uh, work for candy. It is a lot of work for candy. So we're gonna make this ramen looking thing. But I found directions in English on YouTube. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because there is no English on this package. I have to cut these out. Wait, you can just follow the picture. No, it's not descriptive. Look, I'm cutting these out. Okay. You have to show people. I mean, I'm sure they can figure it out from this, but you gotta do, take those things and you do that, and then 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 you cut those. And then you put water and you have to whistle apparently, and then this one, you have to put star power in it. I don't know what that means. And you have to put your washing machine in a bag. <laughs> what? And then you yell at the egg. Sweet. All right. Okay, so these are molds for the egg and the little thing. the dumpling mold. Okay. So we have, this is the candy. This is the noodle mix. This is the soup base. And then this is the center for the dumplings. So on here, there's little maps that we have to follow with the candy. It smells like bubble gum. So if you didn't want to make this, you could just eat the candy straight up. I mean, I guess, but what's the fun in that? Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is really hard. Did you wash your hands? Yes. <laughs> I think I have to warm this up. It's been sitting in my closet for a while. Oh, because it's from 2018. That's okay. It really smells like bubble gum. Doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay. Now this is going to be, these are going to become these. Okay. How do you make the noodles? I'm going to show you. Oh. You make it with patience. <laughs> Don't break the glass. <laughs> with patience? What's that? Exactly. Made in Japan. It's the only English on there. Besides these numbers, the numbers are in English. Oh, and the website. Crazy Go JP. Okay, well, it's not great, but there we go. So, in theory, it's going to look like this when, when you're done. Pop and Cookin'. There's some English. Pop and yeah, Cookin'. Yeah, Pop and Cookin' is the company that makes this. And all their videos are super fun to watch and really relaxing to watch on YouTube. Okay, I think just because this stuff is old, it's not really stretching out very well. But it's supposed to be this shape. Pop and Cookin'. This size. <laughs> They're doing it so much faster than you. <laughs> uh, Popping, cooking. 
Okay, so then you make the dumplings. You put in there, and this is the, the bag for them. Looks like TVP. It does. And then in theory, it should fold over. Can you pinch it? Pinch it. Pinch it. Huh? You made a dumpling. I made a dumpling. It doesn't look great, but. It doesn't look like that on the package. <laughs> I think you're supposed to trim the excess off. Uh, well, you ate it. What's it taste like? Bubblegum. Does it really? Oh, it's so weird. Okay. Oh, it's like lemony. Alright, so there's the dumplings. And then you're gonna make the egg and the, I forgot what that's called. The thing. Here's the egg for your ramen. Okay, now you take this. And you fill it up to the line with water. And then you take the broth. I don't know what this is, it's candy. <laughs> Did you hear that at home, everyone? This is our ramen broth. Are you supposed to stir it? Mm -hmm. it smells lemony. Okay. And then you take this and you fill it to the line again. The star, see there's a star on it. And then you oh, take the noodle mix. This is where it gets yeah. kind of cool. This is the noodle mix. Look. I know, I was looking at the star on the package. Is that actually gonna make noodles? Yeah, I'll show you how. Ew, it's like, it's gotten really viscous. It smells very lemony too. Oh, then you put, I see, then you put it in a squeeze bag. Mm hmm With squeeze out noodles, that's neat. But they like colored the egg. See, some yolk, whatever. And then you take the bag, watch, this is very important. Okay. You take the toothpick that you were given. Oh. And see where the arrow is? Poke a little hole in the bag. 
<laughs> I bet you there's there's like Japanese kids that would have had this put together in like 10 seconds. Probably. We're just going to watch this video make fun of us. And then you pour the noodle mixture into the bag. Ugh, it's like that weird texture that I don't like. <laughs> And you squeeze it through the hole into your dome. Mmm, tastes like sugar. Then you squeeze it in the hole into your ramen broth. Wait, there's still some in there. Ready? Yeah. Are you getting this? Uh-huh. This is so weird. <laughs> it's a lot of effort for Kim. It is, but it's fun. Let's see, and you have noodles. Wow. Oh God, that's really weird. <laughs> and then you can put your egg in there. And this guy. And why not put the rest in there too? And then you have your dumplings. Ta-da, you're popping cooking ramen. All right. Should we do a reaction video now? It only took us like 12 minutes, according to this. Yeah, see how it is. No, he's scared. Is it popping cooking? I think the broth is soda flavored. No, no, no. Yeah. Point the camera on yourself. Okay. It's like Dr. Pepper. It's not good. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. I'm gonna try a dumpling. Okay, I want dumplings. It, it's sour. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of dumplings. Okay then. Well, now we my know. professional opinion, it's more fun to make than it is to eat. Okay. Mm-hmm.